me Kira. so today I'm going to be filming a popping summer glam makeup tutorial um, and I'm actually going to be using the MUA, or one of the new MUA professional palettes which is this one so let's get started I'm also using quite a few new products in this video so it's going to be quite experimental and I'm going to be kind of reviewing it as well so first of all I'm going to start by priming my face. I'm going to be using the Stila One Step Colour Correcting Primer, which as you can see I've used a lot of this because it's a very good primer and I just feel like it works with any foundation and it's just so smooth on the skin as well. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and the shade I've got it in is 140 um, but since I bought this foundation I've been on holiday so I have got a tan so as I apply this you'll see that it's way too light for my skin and I, uh, my head just looks like a ghost and the rest of me is tanned but don't worry I will warm it up. To apply the foundation I'm going to be using the Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender, and I'm also going to be applying it in um, bouncing kind of motions rather than actually rubbing it in because otherwise you kind of give it a bit of a smudged finish. And just by doing this, one keeps the coverage and two gives it more of a natural finish. Next for concealer, I'm going to be using the Bourjois Paris Healthy Mix concealer and this at the moment is one of my favourite concealers and the shade I'm currently using is 51. I'm literally just going to be taking this under my eyes, my forehead, down my nose and on my chin. Just any areas that I kind of want to brighten and conceal. I'm just taking the same beauty blender as I did for my foundation. So now I've done that, I'm going to set in place my under eye concealer using the Revolution Bake and Finish Luxury Baking. Just got that all over myself. And this powder does get a bit everywhere. And again, to apply that, I'm going to be taking the exact same beauty blender. As for the rest of my face, I'm going to be setting that with the um, Too Faced bronzer. And I'm only setting it with my bronzer because this is the mil the light to medium bronzer, which um, when I do have a tan, it's not dark enough to be a bronzer of such. So I kind of actually use this as a setting powder. So I'm literally just going to put this everywhere where I haven't put the baking powder. So that's everywhere but under my eyes basically and this just adds colour back to my skin and to be fair it works as a pretty good um, setting powder as well I've been using it a lot lately okay so whilst my under eyes are baking I am going to be doing my eyebrows off camera okay so moving on to eyeshadow uh, again using the MUA palette. I have prepped my eyes using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and it's just great stuff to make sure eyeshadows stay on for ages. So first of all we're just going to start off by using a base colour which I'm going to be taking the kind of most natural shade here and I'm just going to be applying that using the Real Technique deluxe crease brush I'm actually just going to be putting that all over my lid to create a smooth base to apply the rest of my eyeshadows to. So now starting with the inner corner of my eye I'm going to be taking this slightly lighter pink colour mixed with the light, well it doesn't really look light on the camera, slightly lighter purple shade and I'm just going to tap off yeah, because it's because there's a lot of fallout with this palette. I guess it's the only negative is that I found that there's quite a lot of fallout. I'm just going to be 
first just pressing it into the skin and then I'm going to be building it up as I go. I'm going to slowly work it out but I'm not going to go fully into the middle because that's where we'll be putting the transition shade. I'm just going to go quite up high, quite close to the brow bone so it really gives like a pop. Then I'm just going to slightly smoke it out using circular motions with the brush. Now for the outer parts of my eye, I'm going to be taking these two colours here mixed together because this blue here, if I show you, is actually quite purpley and it's also quite hard to get all the product on. But I'm literally just going to be mixing these two together. And again, I'm going to be pressing it on to my outer V and then smoking it out and then back in. But still not going all the way into the middle because that's where we're going to be putting um, our transition shade. I also want to create quite a rounded edge to the end of the eyeshadow because we won't be applying any eyeliner afterwards so giving it a rounded edge also creates more of a natural look because if you do it quite pointed then it's gonna need something there however I feel like when you do it rounded it's okay and it doesn't necessarily need much eyeliner so for the transition shade I am going to be taking the well actually I'm going to be mixing a few colours and kind of just experimenting until I actually get the the shade that I'm looking for. Um, but I'm just going to start off by using this really pale pink up here, mixing it with this um, little bit of orangey colour, it's this one, a bit of this one and a bit of this one. And I'm just going to keep on going until it gets the colour that I like. And it's going to go right here in between the first two colours. And now I'm going to be um, cutting the lid using the Benefit Bang uh, Airbrush Concealer. I don't really know how to pronounce this. I don't know if it's going to focus. And I really like using this concealer for cutting my crease doesn't matter what kind of style I'm going for, this is what I use and this is in the shade 1. Okay so now I'm going to set that using another slightly bottom headed brush and I'm going to be taking the first colour that we used the first time. I'm just going to be pressing that into my lid. Okay, so now taking a different brush, I'm going to be taking the brush from the Smoky Eye uh, Urban Decay Smoky Eye Palette. And I'm going to be kind of doing kind of a never transition shade to kind of make the blend from this dark area to the lighter in a corner more subtle. So for that, I'm going to be taking this peachy pinky shade on the thicker end of the brush. I'm actually just going to be taking it on the lid and kind of smoking it out to the outer V. And now for finishing touch I'm going to be taking the Collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner. This is their gold one. And if it's going to focus. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running that through where I've cut the crease to add a bit of shimmer to it. I haven't mastered this and it normally ends up smudging. So we'll try our best. Now I'm going to be taking a reflective highlighter um, in, the, in a purpley shade to 
um, go into my inner eye. As for mascara, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and um, I'm going to be using lashes over this as well. For the lashes, I'm going to be taking the Ardell Demi Wispies. Okay, now that my lashes are on, we can continue with the rest of the face. So for bronzer slash contour, got a bit of a two in one going on here. I'm going to be using the classic Benefit from the bronzer. And for the brush, I'm going to be using the Real Technique, Real Technique, Real Technique um, cheek brush. And for blusher, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Brush in the colour Baby Love. And I love this brush. So we're just going to take that on our cheek and then blend it out towards the side. So when I said summer, I automatically think of glowing. So. For that, I'm going to be doing a base for my highlighter. I'm going to be taking the Bourjois Paris Sculpt Light Strobing Highlighter. And this is just the base, so I'm actually just going to take a pump on my finger. And I'm just going to gently tap it on my cheekbones with it. I'm hoping I don't put ah, too much on which is what I just did. Oops, daisies. So now I'm just gonna tap that in using my finger. Please excuse the overgrown nails and getting them redone tomorrow. And while I'm doing this, I just wanna add I'm going on my cruise this 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 Sunday. Um well it starts on Saturday, but that's just travelling to London. Um, and I am going to be vlogging every single day, um, which means the week afterwards there's going to be a video up every day, hopefully, as long as I can remember to edit. But I'm actually pretty excited. I did try vlogging it before, I don't know if you guys have seen the video, but I have deleted it now. Um, I did try vlogging it before, it didn't quite work out, however I'm going to be taking a match camera, I'm taking my GoPro as well, so do, if I did get any good water slide footage, I do, do want to like, take over onto my vlog, then I will do that. It's a good video. Highlighter, favourite part. I'm going to be actually using the Revolution Sofex Highlighter Palette. Now, I live by this palette. Like, honestly, if someone asked me what I should, um, I should, what highlighter I'd recommend, I'd be like, this. Because, one, well, there's so many great choices. A little something, if you're going for, like, a gold bronze, you've got that. If you're going for a rosy colour, you've got that. Or if you just want a pure glow, you've got that. Um, I'm going to actually be taking my favourite one, which is the one with the biggest dent in, which is the one on the here on the end. This one, it doesn't look so nice on camera, but as soon as you apply it to your skin. And the brush I'm using, by the way, is a Real Techniques setting brush. Um, I'm just going to pop it on and you'll see what I mean. And that is why I live by this highlighter. Like, all the other shades in there are great as well, but I mean, that one's just my favourite one. Let's pop in the nose. Bye. The final part, lipstick. I'm going to be taking the Victoria's Secret Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Perfection. And it's, I don't know why I say lipstick, because it's a liquid lipstick. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you a little inspiration thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below if you have any video requests and if you're new around here hit the subscribe button because i'm almost at 200 subscribers 
and yeah I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching bye